Today, I want to learn about the knowledge, attitude, and practice cap survey during um, something, blah, 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 blah. And this is a protocol of WHO. This is a working copy. And this is about the oral cholerial uh, vaccine. And we want to learn together about this and what is this. This is, uh, it has a acknowledgement, background, introduction to CAP surveys, survey protocol and questionnaire development. It has a survey implementation, translating finding to actions, references, and such a annexes. Okay, first of all, it has a preface such for example it has a preface about the worldwide and estimated 1.4 million cholerial cases and 28 such as such as such as blah 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 explain and uh, explain about your articles we can explain a lot um that why do you want uh, to prove um, explains your cap analyzes and then you should acknowledge um, yourself. Is we would like to thank, for example, individual and group that work in cholerial prevention, or for example, such a disease prevention and response activities. We also would like to thank the members of a, such a vaccine. Okay, it has such an abbreviation. It's written CAP, it's knowledge, attitude, and practices. The OCV is the oral cholerial vaccine. The WHO is a World Health Organization. Now we go to the background. Our articles should have a background. For example, here it's explained about the cholerial is an acute diarrhea disease caused by infection with a toxigenic Bacterium Vibrio Coriola serogroup O1 or O139 human infection most often is caused by ingestion of contaminated food or water. Okay, it's written here, for example, the trade name is of the is Ducorol or Shankol. The presentation one dose will, one dose will. It has such introduction to CAP surveys. What is a CAP survey? A CAP survey is usually is conducted to collect information on the knowledge. That means what is known. Attitude. That means what is tough. And practices. That means what is done. About general and or specific topics of a particular population. In the case of OCV. Oral Korea vaccine campaign campaigns. These topics would include DRA disease, cholera, 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 and cholera vaccine, and water sanitation and hygiene. Bosch information is collected by interviewers through a, a structured, a standardized questionnaire that may include both, uh, both quantitative and qualitative data. Okay, why conduct a CAP survey? Why we should conduct it? A CAP survey can generate data that can be used for following purposes to identify knowledge gaps, cultural beliefs, and behavioral, behavioral patterns that may identify needs, problems, and barriers to help plan and implement interventions to deepen and understandings of commonly known information, attitudes, and factors that influence behavior, to generate baseline levels and measure changes that result from interventions, to assess and identify communication processes and sources important for program implementation and effectiveness. Also, CAP survey conduct, uh, conduct to help set program priorities and make program decisions. When is the best time to conduct a CAP survey? In the case of OCV campaign, a CAP survey ideally should be conducted before and after the vaccination campaign. 
If possible, a pre-campaign cap survey will provide data that may help the vaccination campaign planning and provide baseline data to help measure the impact of campaign-related activities. A post-campaign cap survey will provide data that will help evaluate campaign-related activities should there be insufficient time and resources to conduct a complete cap survey, PD, and or post-vaccination campaign and campaign implementation implementers may consider using a rapid assessment questionnaire to determine whether certain campaign activities purposes processes uh, for example, communication, vaccine, dispensing, logistic should be modified in real time. These assessments may be conducted at any time during a campaign. Who should conduct a CAP survey? Who? For the purpose of the OCV stock pile, the CAP survey will probably be conducted during uh, the earlier stage of the Cordillera outbreak responses. Thus, personnel, in addition to those um, involved in the emergency responses, will be needed. Survey staff may include those with knowledge of survey methodology, cordial prevention and control measure, and or immunization who can help with protocol and questionnaire adaptation, assistance for technical partners with relevant Expertise also may be requested and external interviewers with survey uh, experience may be hired. Okay, survey protocol and questionnaire development. The following is an outline and brief discussion of practical steps for survey protocol and questionnaire development. In general, a survey protocol should include the following items a statement of the prob uh, of the of the problem or its background survey goals and objectives survey methodology including the survey population survey design survey sampling plan enrollment and consent procedure data collection procedures data management and analysis plan actually I have a problem my, in myself is in this plan. Survey methodology includes survey population. Uh, I mm, make a decision that who, who is my population. Survey design, survey sampling plan, enrollment and consent procedures, and data collection procedures, data management, and anal analysis plan. It's a very hard, hard part. Plan for use and design documentation of survey results, ethic review, budget allocation, project schedule, questionnaires and interview forms as annexes. Although no one protocol can fit all CAP survey, a more specific example of an adaptable OCV campaign related CAP survey protocol is included in Annex 1 for references and uh, potential use in the field. The following provides general uh, steps for CAP survey with uh, specific references to OCB campaigns. Uh, step 1. Review existing information. Before composing a survey protocol, it will be important to determine the overall goals and objectives of the survey. To do this, the first uh, step will be in review existing information uh, related to the population targeted for the OCB campaign. This may include local cholerella disease surveillance data, wash data, uh, census reports, reports from other health surveys, and published literature. Step 2. Determine survey goals. After reviewing relevant information, the next step is to determine what is the overall goal of the survey. Will the goal of the survey be to be explore uh, will survey be to explore and collect information about the population or a specific topic? Will it be establish baseline data period to an intervention? Will it be evaluate the impact 
of an intervention. That means test a hypothesis about an intervention strategy or will it be a combination of this? Okay, this determination of survival is also very hard for me, for my topic. For the purpose of a stockpile related OCD campaign, survival goals will be a combination of exploration, baseline data collection, and evaluation. Define survey objectives. Once the overall goal of the CAP survey has been determined, a specific objective should be defined. This objective will determine what information will be collected during the survey. A specific objective of an OCV stockpiles related CAP survey may include the following. To assess the knowledge, attitude, and practices regarding safe water sanitation and hygiene, DRA disease, cholerala, cholerala vaccine, healthcare accesses, and immunization practice among residents of the population targeted for vaccination. To evaluate the impact of the OCV campaign on the knowledge, attitude, and practices regarding safe water sanitation and hygiene, DRA disease, Coriola, Coriola vaccine, healthcare accesses, and immunization practice among residents of a target population following the vaccination pattern to evaluate the impact and to assess the knowledge cap. Okay, so step four, outline survey uh, methodology. Once the survey object have been defined, the next step will be out outline the survey methodology. This will include identifying the survey population and deter determining the, est uh, the study design, sampling plan, and data collection and analysis plan. It is strongly advised that staff or technical partners with expertise in survey design and data analysis be involved. Survey population. The survey population will be determined by the information review and survey objective in general. This population may be defined by demographic characteristics, for example, age, sex, religion, urban or rural residence, income level, education, employment status, ethnic or language group job or social category or other characteristic related to the uh, to a specific topic risk uh, disease risk access to safe water access to improve sanitation selection of the survey population will open on the survey objectives time and resources as different group may be surveyed okay i actually define my survey population for the purposes of an OCV stockpile related CAP survey, potential survey population include the followings community member members target community member target for Coriola vaccine and those not targeted for vaccination within the geographical proximity, community members resident within a Coriola outbreak area, community members resident uh, residing in both outbreak and non-outbreak areas. However, given the limited time and resources that exist during Coriola outbreaks, that most likely survey population will be community members targeted for Coriola vaccination. Other potential survey population that are outside the uh, re, uh, that in the realm, realm of this document include health workers, immunization staff, and decision makers. The survey design. Most CAP survey are cross-sectional survey that collect data at a specific point in time. Although these type of survey are subject to sampling, response, and recall biases. They are the most convenient for situation in which time and resources are limited. For OCV stockpile related CAP survey, pre and post vaccination campaign survey should be planned if there is enough time. The pre vaccination campaign survey should be pro uh, conducted prior to campaign activities to provide baseline data that may also help plan campaign related activities. 
The post vaccination campaign survey should be conducted within six to twelve months following the vaccination campaign. Twelve measure the intermediate term impact of a campaign related activities on the community. If there is no time to conduct a pre-vaccination campaign survey, a post-vaccination campaign survey can still provide data on health message delivery moods and a specific knowledge acquired from a campaign-related activities. Sampling plan. The survey sample is the set of survey participants selected from the larger survey population. The survey sampling plan will determine how, participa how participants are selected and can, add, uh, can address to generalizability, uh, certainty, certainty and, per uh, and precision of results by defining who is included in the survey and how many people are needed to provide the most appropriate survey sample while considering time and resources contain const constraints. The sampling plan should be developed with the assistance of someone knowledge, knowledgeable in survey methodology in order. In general, there are three main categories in sample, random, um, uh, purpose, purposeful and convenient sampling. Will random sample um, sampling may be the most methodologically rigorous. Each of sampling method has advantage, advantage and disadvantage. Thus, it will be necessary to decide which will be the most feasible in the settling in the setting of a choral outbreak and reactive vaccination campaign. Main survey sampling categories is a random sampling, for example. The description is a participant or chosen by chance, that means randomly, and have an equal chance of being selected. Potentially most resources intensive may include simple random, stratified random, and random cluster sampling for example house households within randomly selected village are selected for survey participant or household with a defined geographic area affected by Korea law or randomly selected by survey participation proposal sampling participant are selected in a directed was based on a creation on the creation or rational or, or rational on a cry on a, a criterion or rational all health worker from a district affected by Korea outbreak are selected as a survey participant okay this is a purpose full sampling for the health care and convenient sampling uh, is when the participants are selected based on convenience. Most, exp most, most uh, expedient produ uh, produce estimates without uh, the cost or time required to select a random sample. All adults seeking care at a courier uh, treatment uh, centers or selected as a survey participants. Okay, enrollment uh, procedures and informed consent. Okay, actually we, not, we need the informed consent. A procedure for survey participant enrollment should be outlined as well as uh, details. For obtaining informed consent from potential survey participant, in some cases, verbal. I, I think actually I I don't need for my articles the informed consent because I just need a need questionnaire. But because they are the, use the medicine, they need the informed consent. 
will be appropriate particularly where within uh, where written and signed consent form are not culturally appropriate or possible during the consent process uh, it will be important to assure survey participants that are that the information they provide will be kept uh, confidential a sample consent form escape a sample holds uh, host shell enrollment log or provided in Annex 3 and 4. Okay, the data collection for CAP survey is structure standard questionnaire that may be include both qualitative and qu quantitative data and also may be include observational types and data to be collected or dependent on the survey objective and Questions to be answered. Please see the step develop the survey and questionnaire. The mood of data collection, for example, is paper, questionnaires, a smartphone or tablet should be determined based on the feasibility of use in the survey area, existing resources for training and supplies and availability of technologies, supports in the field of the during the survey periods, modes of data backup should be specified, for example, paper forms for a smart force. Data management and analysis, a plan for data management, including quality control and analysis should be outlined at the time of protocol development, allocation of data entry, cleaning and analysis tasks to a specific personnel or groups should be uh, made as there should uh, plans for data storage. For OCV stockpiles related CAP surveys, the data analysis plan should include a descriptive analysis to assess knowledge, attitude, and practice regarding safe water, sanitation, and hygiene via disease Korea la, 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 la. should pre and post vaccination possible for the same population. Additional analysis may be performed to evaluate the impact and of campaign related activities. Data use and dissemination of finding a plan for data use and uh, dissemination of findings should be outlined in their protocol. In general, a summary report of survey findings should be written and results should be disseminated to all relevant stakeholders. Okay, the develop of the survey questionnaire to develop it in mind question should be relevant questionnaire in frame action and to minimize the reflect okay. type of questions include both or both closed-ended and open-ended question closed-ended question have a predetermined set of answer easier to standardize for data entry and analysis open-ended question and do not have a predetermined set of answers and pretty more likely to include qualitative data, potential difficulties for data analysis, but still informative. Finding uh, from questions may also be substantial by observation. The following tips are helpful for survey questions writing. Remember the purpose of the survey. Make sure that the survey questions support survey objective. If, an, if in doubt, throw it out. If the, if the effectiveness of the question is in doubt, delete it. Keep your question simple. Use simple language in each question. Focus on the topic. Stay focused. Avoid Avoid vague issue. Avoid leading question. Use natural question that will not lead the participant to answer in a specific way. Make sure the representant has enough information. Providing some background for a question may yield more uh, accurate information. For example, rather than asking, do you 
think that the oral Coriella vaccination campaign was beneficial? A two-part question may be asked, such as, did you know that the oral Coriella vaccine was provided to people in the village during vaccination campaign last month? This may be followed by what kind of benefits have you seen from this campaign? For OCVS talk uh, pie related campaigns, the following questions topic may be included. For example, demographic and socioeconomic characteristic, knowledge attitude and practice regarding DRI illness and Coriella, Bosch, Coriella vaccine and other routinely administered vaccine and healthcare accesses, exposure to health communication and messaging regarding DRI illnesses and Coriella and Coriella vaccine, observation and household characteristic, water treatment and sanitation facility in the household. For the purpose of this document, query questions that can be adopted to each setting have been identified for inclusion in any OCVS talk by related CAP survey. Use of these core questions will ensure that key questions are asked and will allow for, com for comparison across different settings. Additional questions relevant to the specific survey objective may be included. A simple questionnaire that may be modified and used for a specific setting is provided. In Annex 5, the code question indicated in the simple questionnaire should be used in every OCVS talk pile related CAP survey. Where possible, the code questions should be included in the rapid assessment questionnaire. Okay, just a moment, please. Determine the requirement for ethics approval. Each every survey protocol should be considered for approved by an ethic committee. Ethic committee review and research protocols to ensure that a study procedures adequately protect the study participants, survey planners, and implementers, along with any uh, technical partners, should submit the survey protocols for ethics committee's review or determination of non-research. If possible, organization frequency involved in CAP survey activity should consider approval for a generic CAP survey protocols that can then be modified for a specific setting and exp expedited for additional approval. Okay, hopefully I got my ethics. Survey implementation. At the time of survey protocol development, certain factors such as time and human and financial resources should be assessed and considered. When planning for the field, work can begin once the survey protocol has been prepared and appropriate action has been taken for ethical review. These plans can be finalized. Survey dates and uh, timeline. Before any further planning can begin, the survey dates and timeline should be chosen, although there will be limited choice for CAP survey dates during a Coriella outbreak and reactive vaccination campaign. Things to consider include the following table T timing, duration, environmental factors, and uh, concurrent activities. Okay, about the timing, issue to consider is consider whether any spe special events may prevent or prolong. Holidays, harvest season. About the um, Duration of training is considered the number of days needed for both training and in field of work. It helps the budget project as well. 
Now, what the environmental factors? It's written consider environmental factors that may prevent or prolong survival work. For example, rain, reason, dust, storms, etc. About the concurrent activities, it's written about uh, consider whether any other concurrent large scale activities might create potential conflict or um, synergies, for example, other vaccina vaccination campaign, other training service, etc. The survey date should be discussed and confirmed with all local partners and community leaders. Budget and logistic. Final budget calculation can be made once the survey timeline and logistic plans are outlined. Main, find, main funding categories to include in the budget line are, are the following. Training, debriefing, personal transportation and perdims, equipment and supplies, data collection, management and analysis, logistical planning and overall survey org organization are crucial to prevent and uh, prepare for problems that may be in content during field works and to ensure that the field works Field work is completed. Supervisor and interviewer requirement. Requ requirement. Okay, team composition. Each survey team should consist of at least one supervisor and one or more interviewers. However, if logistic allows one supervisor potentially can overlook two or two to three, team, two to three teams. The number of interviewers may depend on the survey sample size. Geographical location and area to be covered and the resources other individual to consider, including, oh, sorry that I have a lots of uh, stops because I smoke a cigarette. Um, our translator is needed, logistic expert, liquidator. Okay, this is, this is, this is blah, 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 blah. I make it at the line. We go to the number of survey items. Okay, read it by yourself, please. Samples by geographical location. Okay, now we go to the supervisor and interviewer qualification. Now you learn it that the number of survey items and then number of survey teams as with number of interviewers, the number of survey teams will depend on the survey sample size, geographical location, and such something, resources. Supervisor and interviewer qualification in general education, language, skill, and supervisor experience, and such like this. Requirement resources. If there is a need to recruit supervisor and interviewers outside of one, organization or collaborate collaborating organization organization schools of public health nursing or medicine may be a good source of qualified uh, supervisors and interviewers additionally if resources allow local consulting firm that have experience with survey implementation may be contracted of note always required may individuals than needed so that some may serve as backup should anyone become unavailable due to a survey schedule 
change or other reason. Table 4. Desirable qualification for supervisors and interviewers. Ability to read and write. Ability to speak local language fluently. Experience uh, of supervision and stuff in the field. Supervisors only. Experience of the working on supervisor. Knowledge of the survey area. Good interpersonal and observation skill. Capacity to understand survey re research in general specific. And also the uh, good organization skills is important. Okay, supervisor and interviewer training. Two to five days should be allocated for supervisor and interviewer training workshop period to fill the works. The following topics uh, and ex exercises should be included. Survey goals and objectives, roles and responsibility of the survey team's members, survey participants, selection procedure, informed consent confidentially and the rights of survey participants, content and use of questionnaire review of each survey question and its purpose, interviewing technique, data recording practice, supervision and data quality control, survey pilot and review, please see the below and the logistic. Okay, during this time, supervisors and interviewers can provide uh, valuable feedback on the enrollment procedures and questionnaires. Appropriate modifications should be made in preparation for the survey pilot. Survey pilot, a pi what is the survey pilot? A pilot of the survey questionnaire should be conducted after supervisor and interviewer training. Period uh, to actual field work, this is essentially a practice run of the survey that can help identify poorly worded questions and other problems related to the questionnaire or logistic, a site convenient to the training workshop location and not within the survey sample may be appro approached for this. One or two days should be uh, uh, allotted for the survey plot, uh, piloting and a debr debriefing to review the pilot experience should be held. Once the survey pilot and debrief, uh, debriefing uh, are complete, the questionnaire may be finalized. Those using pair pay surveys can send the questionnaire for the printing and copies. Okay, in this case, uh, we should get the time to the personals. Okay, I should read it again. One or two days should be allotted for the survey piloting and briefing review. The pilot experience should be held. Once the survey pilot and the briefing are complete, the questionnaire may be finalized. Survey field work. While in the field survey team should be attempt to contact survey coordinators on a daily basis uh, to report their progress. Team supervisor should review all completed surveys daily where possible for quality control and any potential modification to the survey should be discussed with survey coordinate coordinators. Should, mod should a modification be necessary or a questionnaire issued be addressed, survey coordinators should contact team supervisors to ensure that all team are aware and can make the modification. Interviewers should also debrief daily within team supervisors to review daily survey activities and share experience and lessons learned. Post-field work 
debriefing. Once survey work is complete, a final debriefing meeting including the survey, uh, survey coordinators, technical partner and survey team members should be held. This debriefing will be a form for all survey implementer, uh, implementers to discuss their experience and identify lessons learned for a future survey. Feedback provided after a pre-vaccination campaign survey may be hel helpful for planning the post-vaccination campaign survey. Additionally, if time permits, rapid analysis of key variable from the pre-vaccination campaign survey can help identify potential barriers to vaccine acceptance and help inform campaign me uh, messaging. Translating finding into action. In general, a pen campaign of a data analysis, a summary report should be drafted and findings should be translated into action. The survey coordinators and field teams should be the primary authors of the report with help from collaborators and technical partners if needed. The report should include a project background, the survey objective, methods, um, methods and results, a discussion of the results and conclusions and recommendations, the survey questionnaires and summary data and tables and figures should also be included as annexes. A more detailed sample survey report outline is provided in Annex 7. The final report should be made available to all stakeholders and the results should be presented at a relevant meeting to encourage discussion and inform program planning. Okay, it has such a references also and uh, actually the, it has references to WHO Guide to Developing Knowledge Attitude Practice to Switzerland is available and also the Medicine du Monde has a CAP survey. Okay, the, the annex one, the project, the title. The title is written evaluation such such blah blah. Protocol summary, lead, institution, investigation and role, co-investigator and role, introduction, background and rational, since, such blah 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 blah, justification for the survey, intended, potential use of the survey and finding, the location name should be written here. The specific objective, add up, uh, appropriate objective here. The methods, the survey population, the survey design, the sampling plan, and actually is written here the enrollment and consent, data collection, quality control measures, data management analysis such as like this. Uh, this may, uh, dissemination of finding agree is written here aggregated results will be reported to key stakeholders such as Ministry of Health, the Korea Co uh, Coordination Committee, other partners and donors, data access and reporting policies will be followed. Additionally, results may be presented at appropriate scientific conferences or, or published in scientific or public health literature. Ethical consideration, potential risk like, uh, and discomfort, potential benefits. For example, the potential risk of loss confidentially will be minimized by use of survey, identification number and removal of personal identifiers potential of what, what is the pot potential benefits finding from the evaluation will provide information for guiding social 
mobilization activity for the vaccination campaign and will such like this conflict of interest none of the investigator listed in this pro protocol has a financial conflict of interest with the goals and objective of this program evaluation nor with any products developed for use as a result of this evaluation and number seven is a timeline evaluation implement implementation activities will be carried out over the one year this initial survey will take place in such a month and such a year followed by the second survey approximately six to twelve months later data entry and analysis will occur throughout the period of field work dissemination of survey funding references such like this appendix one two three Okay, the upper annex two sample household selection protocol. Okay, how we sample a standard sample operation procedure, sampling and survey. Each interview team will accompanied by a village guide and will be assigned a specific area to be covered for the survey. Annex 3, the sample consent script, consent to a participant in a household survey. Hello, my name is blah, 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 Mahnaz, for example, Mehrabi. And we are here on behalf of Ministry of Health of Population. We would like to learn about the, what people in your community know about the Korea law. If the, female, if the female head of the household is not available, if there is someone else, if the female head of household of someone older than 18 years old is available, would you help us by answering someone? Okay, and date, name, if yes, begin in the interview. And export sample household look. Today's date, village, household, such like this. Annex 5, sample questionnaire. Okay, okay, this is actually a very good questionnaire. Interview date, receive. Name, comment, respondent status, female, male. Enumeration area, number, other participant cap survey yes or no or don't know in the first step Demo, uh, demographic information what is your age date birth date sex of respondent how many people live in your household including yourself how many children of uh, age less than five in your household what is the highest level of education do you have okay primary secondary uh, does your household have working refrigerator working television do you have a working radio mobile yes or no or don't have the answering is also should be very simple illness in the household in the past week has anyone in the household been illness clear of yes no refused unknown how many household members including yourself were sick with DRA in the past week number of the sick how many less than five children do you have has anyone in the household died this past year yes no unknown refused okay DRL information and exposure drinking bad water eating bad food unwanted yes no okay you see just like this very simple answer wash hands Korea vaccine how would you treat 
be a help for yourself. Go to Coriolis Center. Go to Clinic Hospital. Use oral rehydration solution. Use homemade sugar salt solution. Go to traditional health healer. Home remedy specify. And it's written how long does it take for you to go to CTC Clinic Hospital less than 30 minutes or don't know one to two hours. To which Coriola Treatment Center do you go and the name of the hospital to check the, maybe the history. In the past six months, have you ever heard about the prevention? Or can you prevent it or mention and circle it like Coriola vaccine cannot prevent it how can you uh, how would you treat Coriola for yourself or family members water sources such like this Okay, the routine vaccination, have you or anyone in your whole seat received any vaccination? Do you personally have any concern or worries about any children in your household receiving, receiving a vaccine? Okay, have you heard the Coriola vaccine? Yes or no. Okay. All of the question is yes, no, or as the question just to circle. What is the main flooring material? Hatch, metal, tile, wood, cement, earth. Flooring material. Okay. Annex 6 is a survey report outline. Cover page. With title survey, table of contents, abbreviation page, acknowledgement, executive summary, background on Coriola disease, survey subject, methods, survey population, survey area, survey design, sampling design, ethic and consent procedure, training, data, data analysis, result, discussion of a result, Conclusion and recommendation, references, annexes, survey questionnaire, map of survey area, summary, data, tables, and figures, list of personnel involved in the survey and their rules. Annex 7. Survey task checklist. Survey protocols development. Review the literature. Define the survey goals and objectives. Develop the survey protocols, design the uh, questionnaire, submit the survey protocols for the ethics approval and non-research determination, survey implementation, choose survey dates and contact appropriate determination, plans logistic for the survey, allocate the budget, recruit, train supervision and interviewers, pilot test and revise the questionnaire, print the surveys or update mobile survey technology if needed, data analysis, use and dissemination, enter the date, the data, clean the data, analyze the data, write survey report, disseminate the finding, develop timeline and plan or implementation. Next step, identifies to the survey results. Okay, this is the end. I learned a lot by these protocols. I hope also you learn by me. If you like it, please don't forget to like me. Thank you and bye-bye.